Okay, welcome back. It's uh, been about two to three weeks since the uh, Batmobile. Um, it's now the third and last kit that I've bought of the Keaton era Batman. And uh, this kit cost me about, I think it's twenty nine ninety nine at the time. And to be honest, there ain't that many parts, so uh, hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Here's the kit. Right, going over to my chest freeze, as you can see, it is the bat boat or the bat ski boat, whatever you want to call it, from uh, Batman Returns. So the box art is very, very nice. Turning this over, you can see the completed uh, model there. Again, it's 18 parts, so this shouldn't hopefully take too long. You get all the detailed cockpit and the you got a backdrop as well of the Got Gotham City sewers. So that's not too bad. Putting that to one side, you can see the two bottom and top part of the uh, hull. You can see that they're longer than my hand. So again, this is not going to be a small kit. So again, you've got the uh, top half where the cockpit goes. You can see the cockpit uh, tub hole there. You've got the uh, intake holes there, not too bad. And you've got the bottom piece, which is nice and smooth, as you can see. You've got uh, a seat there. You've got a, a fin. Probably looks like a dashboard, maybe. You've got another two fins there. And you've got uh, other bits and bobs as well, probably more dashboard pieces, maybe. Then you've got the actual roof canopy. And the, and the bucket seat is not too bad. Now you've got a small crown sprue. As you can see, you've got the, uh, the rear exhaust um, intakes there, as you can see. With the bits and bobs. So I'll be, I bought some proper Domestos bleach this time. Because it was actually uh, bleach gel that I used it to strip last time. So hopefully the proper Domestos bleach will strip them ahead of a lot quicker. And then you've got like uh, the actual canopy um, itself. It looks very, it looks quite smoked. It's not clear like the other two. But to be honest on the Batmobile it said to smoke it. But to be honest... Once you put the uh, roof onto the Batmobile, it does it itself. So, I don't know, you know, optics, I suppose. So that's that. Instructions are fairly, fairly straightforward. Again, flat black, but I'm going to be using the anthracite. And as you can see, looks very, very straightforward. There's no decals with this either. And then you've got the backdrop. So I'm just going to pause this and I'm going to show you the backdrop. And there you go with the backdrop, you can see the tunnel of the sewers coming up, as you can see, you've got the sewer floor with all the water effects and the uh, the roof holes, and I don't think it looks too bad at all, not bad. I actually like the backdrops that they've uh, included in the reissue kits, not bad at all. So anyway... It's time to get cracking on. Hopefully this shouldn't take that long. Stay with me. Right, um, welcome back. I've started work on the back boat. Now as you can see, here's the crown sprue. You can see that I've stripped it of the crown. Um, I put them in the Domestos in my tub yesterday morning. And over the course of the day, I scrubbed bits of, bits and bits of crown off. Um, but what it was, when I was using my toothbrush, some of the actual parts came off the sprue. So I just cut the rest of them off and just left them in the Domestos. And then I just left it overnight for the straggling pieces of chrome to be stripped off and they managed to come off. So those are now stripped. You can also see that I've started work on the interior cockpit. I've primed the cockpit first, as you can see. So all I've done at the moment is I've just gone in with my matte, my matte black by hand and then once that's dry I'm then going to paint all those prime bits there in gun metal. So that's that started. So 
I've also got the um, seat and put the head shoulder rest on, just glued that into place. So all these bits now are ready to be primed. Stay with me. Right, welcome back. Um, the cockpit is pretty much finished. I've got all the components ready to be fitted. Um, I'll start with the seat. Um, as you know, I painted the outer part of the seat in the gun metal. Um, the actual seat part there is black. You got the two uh, parts of the uh, back support there. That's uh, black. I've painted the uh, sh uh, headrest part of the shoulder headrest in the black. The the other bits in the gun metal. Then you got the control sticks. You got one there and one there. I've painted those in silver. And then tipping this onto its side, you can just see. The notches there look there and there you just push the uh, control stick down and the little rectangular notches go through the holes you might have to widen the hole slightly and i'll just put a bit of glue around the back there and then the finishing off the seat i just pushed it into place and you can see that the seat notches in there and i just put a bit of glue around there you can just make make the glue marks now the dashboard has just been painted in gun metal that's ready to be slotted into there you can see the little mounting notches there both sides and then you've got the instrument panels now I painted everything in black and then um, with the black green number 40 um, I painted the dials because that's what it says on the instructions because if you watch Batman Returns, you don't really see the interior cockpit, to be honest. You only see the, the back of Batman's seat, pretty much. Um, the dials, I've just brought those readings out in the white, as per the plans. And then just went around the edges of the dials with the gun metal. Um, these bits here, that look gold, I painted those in the Humbrol Enamel 54. You got red, you got uh, yellow, you got a bit of silver there for those around the bottom there, and just a bit of a washing silver. So that's now ready to be mounted onto the dashboard. So the uh, cockpit tubs virtually finished. Stay with me. All right, welcome back. As you can see, the cockpit is all completed and it is now sitting in the bottom of the bat boat. Um, basically, the um, the instrument panel um, has been now been glued to the um, dashboard, as you can see. I had to widen the holes slightly in the back of the um, displays, um, but I managed to get it in eventually. And then I just glued that, let it dry, and then the dashboard is just uh, pushed into that hole with them um, sliding clips, as it were. And I haven't glued that in, so it's very very secure indeed, as you can see. And it's looking really really nice, all complete. Now I've put it into the bottom of the back boat. You can see there's a mounting peg and all there. And there's actually one just underneath there. So that's all dry now. So all I've got to do now is uh, put the top on. Stay with me. Right, welcome back. As you could see, I've now glued both halves of the uh, back boat together with the you can see the cockpit there basically you got a locating pin there you've got a locating pin there and you push them together also with that back plate you've got to put it into the uh, bottom section as it says in the plans there and then you've got to maneuver that plate forward so you can get the top half section down you can also see that i've got a massive gap to deal with around the back there i've also got the uh seam to deal with as well i've got um, a gap issue there and a gap issue there and i've also got the circle parts to sand down once i've done all that then i'll, I'll reprimer it stay with me right welcome back as you can see i'm outside um down the side of my house as you can see i've now filled in all the gaps on the uh, side of the back boat as you can see all the way down around the back 
on this side as well and underneath as well you can see I've also got rid of those circles a little bit of flash you can see on the the rear wing that's all all the circles are gone and on the uh, ski sides so now I've just got to top this up stay with me right welcome back as you can see construction is pretty much finished and um, when I left you I'd, I'd, um, I was outside I was about to prime it the underneath and then round the sides where I'd sanded down and refilled so I've done all that and then I put the, I've glued the uh, ski uh, fins on as you can see you can see I've had a bit of gap work to fill in both sides and underneath as well so I've done that and then I've also had to do a bit of filling around the, the actual uh, rear stabilizing fin at the back here just a little bit of filler, sand it down um, remast off the um, cockpit and then just finished everything off I mean like you said you can see that's fully removable so the cockpit's fully revealed um, it hasn't gone down too bad at all actually not bad at all, I was really chuffed I know the primer's pretty much covered up all me sanding and filling and around the sides, not bad at all um, I've still got a, the only construction I've got left to do is just to install the actual um, canopy glass and now this is just pretty much ready for paint, so not bad at all. Stay with me. Right, welcome back. A um, couple of weeks later, took longer than I expected. Um, the Batman Returns Bat Boat, Bat Skew Boat, whatever you want to call it, is now complete and I'm really happy with the results. So here's the final reveal. Right, turning the camera round, as you can see, there it is. I'm just resting it on the my Revel bottles, but I can take them off, I suppose. Let me just uh, remove those. I mainly just left them on while I was painting. So just pull those away. There we go. So now you can see that it's resting on the skis. Now when I left you, um, I just finished putting everything together everything was all together, I've just sanded off the fine bits and the seams and that and then reprimed it and I was just about to start paint so basically again with the uh, 36109 anthracite like I painted the Batmobile and the uh, Batwing as well as Airwolf as you know from many years ago so it took me three coats so I did one on the bottom, one on the top, one on the bottom and then just rinsed and repeat and then got everything right as you can see and then once I'd uh, finished with the paint I then pushed in the uh, turbine intakes into place I didn't glue them I just pushed those into place because they are quite stiff and then um, I uh, did the windows I put the windows on the back of the uh, canopy which I'll explain in a moment and you got the thing, the exhaust around the back there. Just pushed it into the two holes. Just put a bit of glue around it, and uh, that's it. So I will just remove the um, top because I have to do it with the tweezers now. Because when when the glass was in there, it made it without the glass, it makes it a hell of a lot easier. You can see there's all the interior, finished interior. Um, I took a still of the uh, dashboard dials where I painted them so I'll put that on with the uh, stills at the end of the video like I said you see all the completed in there to be honest that wasn't really that bad to get that on top Um, I thought the uh, cockpit might uh, push it up a bit but it was like I said once it was down it was perfect <laughs> right there's the piece of glass on the underneath of the um, canopy now basically you've got three pins and P pin holes, one, two and three. And you just push those into place. You might have to bend the one, you get that one in, you might have to bend that one slightly. So make sure you don't snap it. And I haven't even glued that, it is actually quite stiff. So the good thing is I haven't had to glue it. So that's one good thing. You can also see where the paint has covered up the joins where I'd uh, filled in. It's not the best job in the world, but it'll do. Turning this over. Let me just uh, 
sorry for the uh, the way the video has just gone. You can see the underneath is okay as well. Not bad at all. And my one concern though was um, the fins. You can see how they've gone, instead of straight, they've gone in slightly. Well, I'm not worried about that. They are, they are quite flimsy. As you can see, they do wobble a bit, so I've got to be careful when this is on the shelf, especially when it comes to picking it up and cleaning it. But not too bad. So once I'd uh, done the three carts of andesite, let those dry, I then went in with the satin coat by hand and get it, let's get it a nice sheen. The one thing I like about the satin coat, it's uh, not dull like matte and it's not really shiny like gloss, it's like a hybrid. And that's what I like about the satin coat, it gives it a nice sheen instead of an overboard glossy coat. So putting that back on. Like I said, it does. Like I said, with, with, without, with, without the glass, it was a hell of a lot easier because my fingers would actually sink into the uh, into the holes. But not too bad at all. I'm really chuffed on this. Not bad. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to put it against its backdrop. Now I moved over to my chest freeze, as you can see, and there it is against the backdrop. To be honest, the nose is a bit too long. As opposed to the back truck, because you know it's, it's got to be this angle, because there's the tunnel. So it's coming that way, so not bad at all. I love I love these backdrops, I think they're not bad at all. I might have to put these to one side somewhere, put them in an old box somewhere. Because I'm obviously going to chuck the Batman boxes away, but uh, not too bad at all. I'm really, really chuffed on how that has turned out, the back boat. Even though it is only 18 pieces, so like I said, not bad. So there it is, all done. Um, the reason it took a couple of weeks is because, uh, as many of you may or may not know, I'm a bit of a gamer as well on Xbox. And uh, Forza 7 was coming out, and uh, I wanted to try and get my Forza score on Forza uh, Hub. I was on Tier 9, and I wasn't that far away from Tier 10. So I've been devoting the last couple of weeks trying to get to Tier 10 on Forza 7. Uh, Forza 7. A lot of hard work indeed on all the Forza games that I've got. So I didn't really have much time for the back boat. I just did bits here and there. So I have got to tier 10 now on Forza 7. I don't know why I bothered because all it is is um, uncommon crates, prize crates and uh, outfits for the driver, driver uh, race suit. So I don't know why I bothered because usually it's cars. I probably would have got say a Lambo or... Um, a LM prototype for tier 10 but it didn't happen so anyway um, hopefully I haven't bored you too much with this one video um, as usual I'll put some stills on at the end of the video and uh, see you fairly soon with my next build thank you very much for watching